Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and in this video, we're going to talk about Chat G, uh, GPT, and we're going to talk about how to, uh, I guess, determine if something was written by this chatbot or was an original piece of work. Um, so let's have Chat GPT generate something. Um, well, uh, I wrote a novel called Access Point, and it's about the last man on Earth with a working computer. So uh, write a short story about the last man on Earth with access to a working computer. So we're going to let it generate the story. Um, cold, dark night, the wind was howling, last man on Earth sat as ditly staring at the screen and computer. No one left in the world to talk to or keep him company. As he sat there, he couldn't help but think about how it all had happened. The world had been ravaged by a terrible virus, swept across the globe, killing everybody. Oh, there we go. He's trying to find information on how to reverse the damage. A cure for the virus. All right. So that's a pretty simple story. Um, so let me go ahead and copy this. So we know this is 100% created by an AI. Um, let's go to the GPT-2 output detector demo. This is from huggingface.com, um, open AI detector. Uh, this is basically built to detect whether or not something was written by an AI. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that text in there and give it a minute to predict. So, uh, it's 0.02% real, 99.98% fake. All right, so that's pretty good. But let's throw something at it that is absolutely 100% written by a human. Let's throw it a couple paragraphs from my novel. Um, I'll just go ahead and grab... Oh, let's grab this much. Now, with this detector, the more you have the better or the more accurate the results are. So if we look here, prediction based on, so 0.02% fake, 99.98% real. So that's a pretty quick tool that we can use to determine if something was written by chat GTP. Um, it's not perfect. It's not foolproof. There are some, I, I've thrown some things at it that it's kind of stumbled on. Um, but this is a very quick way for you to start uh, your investigation on whether something was written by a student or not. Um, another option you have is called Glitter. It is the giant language model test room. Um, this is basically a, a, a collaboration from these three people who all worked on Watson. Um, they developed this thing to detect whether a text could be real or fake. Um, based on AI generation. So what it does is basically it analyzes the text by how likely each word would be the predicted word given in a context to the left. So it looks at the word before it, and then it looks at the top 10 predicted words in that background. And if that word was in that top 10 list, so if the next word is in that top 10 list of most predicted words by an AI, then it's colored green. If it's in the top 1000, it's colored red. Otherwise it's purple. So, uh, or top 100 is yellow, top 1000 is red. Otherwise it's violet or purple. So what we're doing is we're basically analyzing text and seeing how many greens we have. So for the most greens, for the more greens we have, the more likely it is that that was written by an AI. So let's put in the story that I wrote and analyze it and see what my score looks like. So I have a, a bunch of greens. So these are considered to be the most likely word to follow the preceding word. We have some purples here, which is good. Um, we have some reds, some yellows. So this is generally what you would see from something written by a person. Um, now, again, this isn't foolproof, but you know, generally people tend to write in a way that computers don't necess can't necessarily predict. Now, as chat GPT gets better, it's going to be more human-like in its writing, and so it might start, we might start seeing scores that are closer to this. Um, let's go ahead and grab that Man Saves the World text and see what that looks like in Glitter. Hello. Oh, there we go. It's going to analyze it. 
Now this is a very different, right? Obviously we can see it's mostly green. Um, this is pretty obviously written by an AI, mostly greens and yellows. We have one purple, um, and a couple of reds, but compare that to what we just saw with my example, the originally written work. Now there are some others out there, but they actually cost money. And I haven't, I haven't played around with what there's one that is supposed to be like the best, but it actually costs money. It's about a penny per 100 words. Um, let's see if I can find it. Best detector for chat GPT text. Um, is it medium? Nope, that's the link to the GPT-2 demo. I'm trying to remember what the name of it is. Originality, I think that's it. Yeah, originality.ai. So this uh, company, uh, like I said, it's, it's a penny per credit and one credit scans 100 words, so it actually costs money but they claim to be the best version of these things. So if you're really wanting to spend the money, um, you, you can try it out. But like I said, I haven't tried it cause I'm not going to spend any money to check it out. Um, but yeah, so those are some options that we can use to detect plagiarism, um, in chat GPT. Now, again, it's not going to be foolproof. So, um, it's not like a plagiarism checker where you can actually like verify, Hey, I found this on this website. This is really just using some pretty rudimentary algorithms to figure out if, a, if something is kind of maybe possibly, uh, written by an AI. So anyway, so that's a very quick explanation of how to use these tools to check to see if something was written by a human or by an AI. All right. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk, I'll see you next time.